hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty and i'm here to do another general energy reading how are all of my love bugs doing i hope that all of you guys are doing well wait a minute one second sweet what are you doing So before we get started, um, I wanted to make, I don't know if, if the Honey Pot Raffle is still going. Um, if it is, for all of my new love bugs here on our channel, we have something called Mystic Beast Honey Pot Raffle. It is a blessing pot, you guys. The tickets are $1.11. And the way that it goes is each week we hold a computer generated raffle and the winner receives the cash pot, okay? Um, you can find the link to the Honey Pie Raffle in the description box. You can also find the link to our private clubhouse called the Self Love Club, where we are growing rapidly daily. We are exchanging our positive energy, helping each other to evolve, heal, and grow. All right, the link to the clubhouse is in the description box below as well. I'm sorry, I had to let Sweetie outside. She had to use the potty, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in. I have a channel um, message from Spirit. Um, I noticed like two days ago, I was outside. It was in the morning, and I saw these two beautiful butterflies. These the biggest, most beautiful butterflies I've ever seen. And they uh, were playing. They were playing together, right? They were playing tag and just following each other. And just, you know, they just it was just so peaceful to watch these butterflies interact, right? So the next day, I came back outside and those butterflies were still playing together. They were still together. And I started to feel like it was a message from spirit. And... I took the opportunity to, try to just sit in the energy and absorb what spirit was trying to tell me. So this message is for eternal lovers, okay? This is for the eternal lovers. This is really past soulmate type of energy because anybody could be your soulmate. You know, this is on some divine soulmate type of energy. This is this is for some lovers who have been with each other since I heard the dawn of time. Okay, like you guys have always been together, whether you are phys physically together or you are with this with with each other in spirit. Um, spirit also wanted me to just kind of elaborate on how important it is to not be so attached to a person's physical. Okay, like physically having that person there with you. Because whoever this reading is for, whoever this message is for, you and this person have a very strong telepathic bond. You guys share, for some of you guys, the same soul. So this could be your twin, okay? Let me further, which I, I said I'm going to make a separate video talking about the twin flame journey, where it originates from. I want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about, you know, different cultures, beliefs on it. Um, some people believe in twin flames. Some people don't. Cool. Normally, if you don't believe in twin flames, it's probably because you're not a twin. Okay. Uh, people see things from their perspective based on what they've went through. Um, so it's teachers on, right? But I am going to make a video talking and like elaborating on that. But they wanted me to um remind my my twin flamers that may be watching me to not be so bound and tied to the romantic part of a twin flame journey because a lot of times it starts off as romance romance is the catalyst for the journey for you and this person which could ultimately lead 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 into separation during this time of separation, you are supposed to find yourself. You're supposed to work on yourself. 444 on the timer when I said this, you're supposed to be putting in the absolute most work during a, the separation between you and your counterpart. You're not supposed to be sitting in one spot. 
waiting for your long lost lover to return. Because if it's meant and if it's written for you guys to experience physical union in this lifetime, you will. You will. You just have to be okay with yourself. Like, what is it about you? What trauma, what wounds have you not tended to that is keeping you stuck and bound to this person? What is it about this person that you feel like they have that you feel like you are lacking that you need to realize that you already have? The most beautiful type of love is the love without attachments. When you can love someone unconditionally enough to let them go and to not hold on to them with dear life, five, five, five on the timer. But that bond that you guys share with this, with this person, with this type of energy is, is eternal. It's, it's, it's never ending. It's truly unconditional love, whether, you know, you are with me in physical or spirit. So um, someone needed to hear that. I'm going to go ahead and tap into the message for, um, I'm going to call this my butterfly group, okay? Fully transformed, went through the transformation. You know that you are on this journey without a shot of a doubt. You're not guessing. You may be in separation and you're wondering um, what's going on with this journey. You may be feeling alone right now, but Spirit wants you to know that you're not alone, that you, this person is every, everywhere with you in spirit. Your person actually uh, protects you in the spirit realm as well. So let's see. I'm going to tap into um, what this person wants you to know. I really think they want you to know that they are with you um, wherever you are, um, even though it don't seem like it. I'm going to see what happened. Look at that hope. They don't want you to give up hope. So this is particularly for a group who has given up hope on having a new love offer, a new beginning with this person, okay? Yeah, you've given up hope. Maybe you feel like you know the truth of the situation and you just feel, you feel defeated. You feel torn. You feel defeated. Um, I'm hearing my patience has ran thin. But that's because you need to take your expectations off of it. You need to take your, your, your patience have ran thin because you're waiting. Stop waiting. You know, live your life. You know, if you're going to, if, even if you want to watch readings, you can watch readings, but you know, just don't watch readings with the expectation of when is this person going to return back to me? It's cool to energetically check in on your person, you know, but the truth is this person never left your side because you guys are one. All right. What else, Spirit? So, this person don't want you to um, give up hope. They don't want you to wait on them, but they don't want you to sit in the energy of, like, um, look at that, trapped in fear. Yeah. You guys are fearful that this was not real. You are fearful that you will never have anything physical with this, with this energy. But see, what you don't know is that this person is taking this opportunity to tap back to like, I'm, I almost said tap back into their energy, but they're taking the opportunity to, to get their power. Okay, you, just as well as you had work that you had to do, this person has work that they have to do as well, you guys. So this person is working on re, rebuilding themselves um on a firmer foundation this person could have lost their power due to some type of karmic situation i heard a karmic settlement so if this person was married to a karmic they could have lost um they could have lost a lot due to a karmic settlement you guys that stem from a past life so this person is regaining their power back this person still feels this this passion for you but this person is resting and you should be doing the same yeah this person is also resting look at that they're resting because they're this person is preparing to one day come in and reclaim their power like um take control of the situation this is emperor's energy in this deck as well 
This person is there. This person is gaining the momentum, working on themselves, getting prepped, getting ready to balance the scales between you guys with the 11 card being here. Yeah, this person's going to come through and pretty much stand their ground because I feel like this energy for the longest they they allowed you to feel like they did not care at all which was divinely planned it was divinely orchestrated by the way you guys it, it this person could have been emotionally withdrawn from you which caused you to go in the energy of isolation but this had to happen this way to get you guys to work on yourself you spirit is saying that you were too focused on this person something had to be done to get you to start putting in the work on yourself you had to you were neglecting the journey you were straying off your path because you were so consumed with this love might i add a love that was never going to go anywhere anyway this this is love beyond life you know life and death so you were pretty much um concerned or worried for no reason but we don't know that. You know, we, we are emotional beings as well. So I can understand. But look at that. No place like home. So you are home to this person. This person is always going to find their way back to you in some form or fashion. Even if it's not physical. This person is going to be around you spiritually, energetically in your dreams. Yeah, a lot of you guys had given up. You feel like that this journey is not for you anymore. That this person is not for you. You know. But this person is like. They're wanting to mend this situation with you. They are thinking about. How can they mend this, this with you. When the time is right. This is a blessed connection between you guys. So it's just you know. And I feel like you and this person. Both have a deep knowing. Of what this connection is. You know. Time for a nap is here. So this is that resting energy again. Spirit is saying to you. Take the opportunity to rest. This person is resting. When the time is right, spirit will allow this person to be back in your life again. You guys will be allowed to be around each other again, you know? This is a very blessed connection, though. Both you guys have um, been doing the work. Whether you feel like this person have or not, it's not really up to you to say because their journey is separate from yours. And their work that they had to do may have been different than the work that you had to do. So we got to kind of stop saying they're not doing the work or whatever. You know, we don't know. We don't know. I only know what the cars come out and say what they're doing. But just physically being there, we don't know. All right. Oh, wow. This is, this is what Spirit just showed me. You guys know how when you have children and let's just say you have two kids, right? And one of your kids is like a straight A student. So their best is straight A's. So when this child comes home with the B, you're a little disappointed. You're not angry, but you know, you know that this child is a, is a straight A student. So you expect straight A's from them. Then you have your other child who struggles a little bit. You know, they, they may not be principal's list. They may be on a, on a, on a roll, right? Or honorable mention. And you know, if they come home with a D, you're like, you're you're not even just disappointed in them because you feel like maybe that D was the best that they could do because you know that they struggle, or maybe the C was the best that they could do. Like maybe, you know, this child comes home with D's and C's all the time, so they finally get a B, and you're so proud of them versus you, I'm not going to say you wouldn't be as proud of the other child if they brought home a B. It's just that you know what this child is capable of versus what this child is capable of. So it's the same thing. Like you and your person are on two different levels. You, you are representing that straight A student. You know, this person is struggling. So we can't say what's good enough as far as work being put in. We can't do that. So communication is here. So this talks about... Um, you and this person having this telepathic bond, this telepathic communication between each other. And, you know, this kind of reminded me of the butterflies. That was so spiritual. Um, more than anything, I felt like I felt an energy of um, eternal lovers off of those butterflies, you know, who they were just in another phase in life 
together. They experienced a lifetime as butterflies together. Look at that. Yeah, your person's going through a dark night of the soul right now, you know? So it's just like, this is why it's important for you to get a lot of rest because if this is truly like a twin flame connection, then it's so easy for you to pick up on this person's energy, their grief, their sorrow, their fears, and it'll weigh down on you, especially this person feeling like they're trapped in fear or anything like that, you know, that will bleed off on you and you don't want that. You got to keep your aura protected. Look at that spring. Something something significant with this connection. This is so crazy. I was on the phone uh, with a friend last night and um, I was telling him about what I the message that I received with the butterflies. And I said, I don't know, I feel like something significant is about to happen this spring or, or through this summer. I feel like there's about to be a lot of reconciliations and some people will actually come into physical union. But Spirit is saying, don't get it twisted, okay? Just, if they allow you guys to come into like a physical union, that's because you've done, you both have done the work enough to the point where you can you can put the knowledge that you both have learned separately together and be of service to, to humanity. This isn't being a physical union so you guys could just lay up and screw all day. This has nothing to do with that. To be honest with you, some of you, some of you guys, physical union isn't even going to be romantic. It's going to be a partnership, a business partnership. You see what I'm saying? Some of you guys, it will be romantic. Others of you guys, it'll be romantic and business. Either way, you guys are contracted to work together with your person in some form or fashion. Look at that fifth dimension. That's 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 very spiritual. This is past the past the physical. You guys are together in the 5D. Your higher selves are already one. Okay? This is why telepathic communication, telepathy is so strong between you and this person. Look at that. Understanding. You guys just have an understanding of each other. Look at you just you just know. You understand this person in ways that nobody else does. They understand you 1717 17, when I said that. You have an understanding that this is a spiritual connection. So though you may not see much going on in the, in the physical, but spiritually, there's a lot more going on than what you know. Physically, this person is going through a dark night of the soul. So this is someone's divine masculine. Yep, this is someone's divine masculine. You know, both you guys could have chosen to take a new direction for the time being, but you guys are definitely mirroring each other in, in, in a lot of ways, okay? Both you guys are focusing on the material world, seeing that's what I'm saying, like, it may seem like they're not doing anything, they're not, they're not making any adjustments in their life, but see, what this person don't know, and a lot of you guys know, is that with these type of connections, when, when we work on... The physical parts of our life, you are, this person is unknowingly preparing for a physical union for you. Their higher selves is leading them. You need to do this. You need to do that. They thinking they just doing this for themselves, but they're not. They're doing this for you too. Third party. This person could have been stuck with a third party. That's because they needed to do some shadow work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this person has abandonment issues, so they were stuck with a third party. They were failing to move move away from a third party because of abandonment issues, but this will all come with some healing. Summer is here. I knew that was coming. Spring and summer, I knew that was coming because that was the combo I had last night when I was talking about the butterflies that I saw, you know? So... I just feel like this year, there's going to be a lot of miracles. There's going to be some turn in events. I'm going to be receiving a lot of emails, a lot of pictures of engagement rings. And you, me and my twin started a business together. Me and my twin are engaged. Me and my twin, we starting a family. You know, it's going to be a lot of that. Yeah, you and this person are going to go into solitude together. You guys are going to help each other heal. There's going to be a lot of forgiveness between you guys. But for the time being, Spirit is asking you guys, please refocus. Refocus on yourself. Try not to think of it, you know, like a lost cause. Because never, nothing is ever lost. What is this? Ooh, look at that. I grabbed these cards and this card flew over there. That's the Emperor. Yeah. 
This is that divine masculine energy. Just like I said, this is someone stepping up to the plate, taking control of the situation, standing in their power. What does this emperor want, spirit? What does this emperor energy want? The hangman. What is this? What do they want? Ah! They're empress. I'm telling you, this person wants their empress. This is why they're all in their head right now. Because they want their empress. I'm going to wrap this reading up. This is a twin flame reading. You guys are the beautiful butterflies that I saw symbolically for the past two days in my backyard. This empress wants their empress, period. End of discussion. That's what they want. Whether they're telling you this or not, this emperor is working behind the scenes. Their higher selves is working with them to prep them to be with their empress. Whether it's, whether it's business romantic and business whatever or friendship they're coming okay all right i love you guys you guys are awesome if this resonated with you in any type of way or if you just claim in this reading subscribe to the channel thumbs up to the video peace